Well, you know, it, it, I was well underway writing The Twelfth Insight when I began to study the Mayan calendar and uh, realized that, of course, uh, you know, the Mayan calendar was a predictive instrument. You know, it was, it was predicting the, this evolution of humanity uh, that we have seen through history that has been occurring. Uh, it's been very accurate, it's the most accurate prophecy, in my view, uh, of any uh, any prophecy. Um, w- but what it was prophesizing was this evolution of human consciousness that would uh, that would result in what the the, the uh, and of course I realized very quickly reading the people that were really I think most accurate uh, about the calendar. Uh, that the Maya were actually pointing to the same phenomenon I was calling the 12th insight. So it was, uh, it was very, uh, interesting synchronicity that this book, you know, came, became real, uh, so that it coincided exactly with this, this time in human history. So, uh, you know, it's, again, I don't take credit for any of that. That's just me following the synchronicity in terms of what I do. Well, that we're, we're moving, uh, we're move, our, our consciousness is changing in a way that we're opening up a whole side of our, our, our brains. You know, the whole right side of our brains are really opening. Uh, in a way that's unifying with, with the left reason, reason and material side, analysis side of the brain. So, you know, the, the, this, since this is happening and, and, uh, uh, you know, the most important point I believe is that we're moving from just thinking about living spiritually to really actually beginning to understand how to do it. Uh, in our in our everyday life, you know, with the shifts in consciousness that we can cultivate that allow us to actually live at a, at a greater high, uh, level of spiritual consciousness. Well, you know, the book is about these yes, these steps are uh, are integrating really all the insights into into something that we can live. Uh, and I just, you know, the, the way it sort of integrates together for me is to, to do uh, one primary thing, uh, and that is to allow myself to be led in life. In other words, uh, you know, the ego, we've, you know, this, the, the materialistic age was about the ego sort of figuring out what to do through analysis and coming to, uh, you know, forge their success in the world with, with, uh, you know, mental power and, and, and now what we're doing is opening up to this right side of the brain that gives us intuitive direction on how to live life. And, you know, the, the, the main thing that I think we have to learn is that we can be led through life intuitively if we just listen. And of course, where we're led is is into a greater, fuller consciousness, where we uh, begin to know what to say to people, to uh, to be a synchronicity for them, to help them, uh, and to be of service to, to individuals in our lives, and, and and also to the world in general. So that instead of just making a living. <laughs> Which we've done for, you know, we'll learn how to do for 400 years with our egos. Yes. We're now shifting that to learning what we came here to do, who we came here to touch and help, uh, every step of the way in life. Yep. And, and that's, that's what opens up this right brain consciousness. So we download what I call our spiritual intelligence, which is knowing the right moves to make, knowing the, the things to say and, and when we do that, what happens is that we get in alignment with the, the way the world is really designed. And that is to honor service and the, the act of helping and the 
an authentic search for, you know, the truth of who you want need to be and what you need to say to people and what truths you need to stand for. Um, that opens up a greater enlargement of consciousness uh, that, uh, uh, you, you know, changes life completely because when we get into alignment with that, with that service, then we begin to attract people who are all, who are, who can be of service to us, which means they show up just at the right time to be a synchronistic event in our lives to, to, uh, to allow a destiny, a sense of destiny to unfold. So, you know, we're all, we're, you know, it's, all the information is here. All we have to do is, is specifically cultivate this way of life. And we not only, uh, have an easier go, uh, personally, uh, but do know the right moves to make to help the world evolve uh, uh, forward and solve all the many problems that the world has. Oh, absolutely. If we do it personally, you know, there is no, you know, we can't rely on collective energy uh, sure. anymore. We have to be net givers of energy, not receiving of energy from other people. You follow me? So yeah. this is really about, you know, stop thinking about uh, the theory of it all. Stop being, uh, you know, wanting to get a group that will help us remember to eat together. Stop thinking about all that. Mm -hmm. And start, start actually practicing it personally yes. so that, you know, it becomes contagious to other people from us, you know, so we're not waiting around for someone else to be, you know, to help us, but we're actually, you know, building this way of life and, and, and sort of radiating it out for everyone else to see and to be uplifted by. So I think that's our great calling right now. And, and what will happen, of course, is the more people do it and the more it becomes contagious to more people. All the group efforts will will happen synchronistically to solve the problems in this world, but it it, it begins with the individual with a kind of disciplined search for this uh, this larger consciousness. And and again, it's it's very simple. If you if you make the decision to live your life authentically and openly. And all you're thinking about is how you can be of service to the people that you relate to every day. Then that intuitive guidance of what to do and say comes yes. as a result of that. Well, I don't think so. I think that... It's all, it's all going to be about taking this information and actually applying it to our own lives. And, you know, it's happening. It, 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 it always happens slowly. You know, you, everybody thinks they're doing it all by themselves and there's, you know, nobody else is doing this and nobody's, nobody's interested in it anymore. You know, all the things that people say when they feel like they're by themselves. So. Sure. But, the fact is, it's time to do it personally. Yes. And it can't happen any other way. We have to do it, and then we have to be the ones that do it and then spread it to other people. So we can't wait on other people to do it. So the information on how to do that is very clear and very simple. But one has to actually wake up in the morning and practice it. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, and that's what people, uh, just because they're, of the discipline it takes, um, are, uh, don't, don't, don't do as readily as they would just like to talk about it. You know, <laughs> they should talk about it. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, this is a shift. This is a real major shift. But the fact is that we're getting helped with this in anybody that, truly wants to open up to a greater consciousness, uh, this is the time to do it because there's more help from the other side and, and uh, this energy that's, that the minds predicted would come in uh, at this moment. And, and uh, it is. It has, it's really, 
it's really uh, not about uh, you know a specific date in 2012. Sure. Uh, it's really coming in now and before this year's over. It'll all be accessible to us, in my view. And and I think that Carl Kalman, I don't know if you know yes. who he is, but I believe that he has the, the uh, dating correct in terms of uh, when we should expect to have full access to this. But we again, it's not gonna, it's not going to be something that takes us. And, and overpowers us, and we suddenly become spiritual and and float away. You know, this is this is not what this is. This is not an ascension that comes from somewhere else. This is a time where we we'll, we have an understanding of, of how to do it ourselves. Yes. And in that sense, it's it's very practical, uh, and it's it's not so ethereal and. And, and and cerebral, you know, it's not about talking about how to do it. I mean, that's, you know, that's always good because you can help reinforce it. But really, the step we're taking now is actually living this way and becoming a service and getting involved in, in uh, providing uh, help to the people in our lives. 